Hello everyone, this is Jude from EasyTex. In this quick video, I'll be talking about the new GPU performance monitoring feature that comes with the Windows 10 Fall Creators update and why some users might not see this feature in their task manager after the upgrade. Recently, I've been trying out the different new features that come with the Fall Creators update on different computers with different um, system configurations. And so far, I can say that if you want to fully enjoy the features that come with the Fall Creators update and any future Windows update Microsoft would release, be it virtual reality, remix 3D, paint 3D, or mixed reality, then you should consider investing more on your graphic processing unit, that's the GPU. It is no surprise Microsoft decided to add the GPU performance monitor to the task manager. However, this feature is not available on most laptops, even the fairly recent ones like this ASUS ZenBook UX32BD. And this is because the GPU performance monitor can only be displayed if your chipset driver supports WDDM version 2.0 or above. And that is your Windows display driver model. To check what version of WDDM you have on your PC, open the Run dialog box using the Windows Plus R keyboard shortcut. Type in dxdiag.exe. That's the direct X diagnostic tool and tap the Enter key. If you see a prompt asking if you want to check if your drivers are digitally signed, click yes on it. When the DXDIAG tool opens, go to the display tab. In the driver section, look for driver model. If it doesn't say WDDM 2.0 or something above 2.0, then your driver is not compatible with this feature. As you can see on this Elite book, it has version 1.2, while on this ZenBook, it has version 1.3. Both versions do not support this feature. However, on this HP 255G3, although not as powerful as the Elite Book and the Zen Book, but it has the WDDM version 2.0. So when you go to the task manager, you are able to see the GPU performance monitoring feature there. Now, if you can't see your GPU monitor from the task manager, there are two possible ways to solve this problem. First is to try checking for driver updates. Your chipset might be able to support this feature, but unless your chip manufacturer releases the required driver updates, you won't be able to access it. So check with your manufacturer, especially if your PC model is not as old as such. The second solution would be to resort to a third-party application. There are several free GPU monitoring applications online, so you can consider installing one of them for the purpose. If you have any questions, please post in the comment section below and I will try to get back to you as soon as possible. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button for notifications on future videos. Thanks for watching and see you again soon.